this is gonna be a short video on uh, Pockin. I, I don't know if it's gonna be short or not, but it's gonna be on Pockin and the whole situation about it, uh, Evo, stuff like that. So let's get into it. The intro is pretty much why not earlier? You know, Pockin is the first Pokemon fighting game, and why did it take you guys 20 plus or 16 plus years? To make a Pokemon fighting game, go back 16 years ago. They were making, they were straying away from you know regular Pokemon formula. They were taking full advantage. They were making games like Pokemon Puzzle League for the Nintendo 64, Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Color, Hey You Pikachu, Nintendo 64. They were making things like that. Pikachu and Jigglypuff were in Smash. They were all over the place. Why not now? Uh. During the, the whole, you know, Pockin craze earlier this year, last year, 2014. I guess I really can't say earlier this year, but I mean, you know, last year, 2015. It's a sur uh, what is it, a rumor surface saying it was removed from multiple arcades and then now it's just one arcade. Usually that means that a game is going to come out. If, if it fails anywhere, they're going to go back and tweak it. But looking at it... Pockin has not changed from any clip of the game. It's just the clips have become more HD and they've been, you know, re released and, and not just uh, leak leaker cam stuff. But that's just, you know, that's just me. The game, the game, it, it looks like a failure, honestly. Moving into the combat system. They say there's this two-tier combat system and that stuff usually doesn't work. Last time it was even in a game was Dragon Ball's The Ultimate Tenkaichi, and that game flopped. The game was bad because the range system didn't offer any, you know, diversity to, to combat. It was either you sat 18 yards away and threw things at people, or you used a rock, paper, scissor minigame to get in close and start this one sided combo, which would last probably 20 hits, depending on what moves you decided to use. Also, during this early footage, I saw, I was watching Pikachu vs. Lucario, they were dancing around, and then I saw, uh, it was a ball of, like, orange-yellow light, and when, when Lucario passed over it, he gained resonance meter, or, or whatever the hot thing is called. Now, if your game is going to be competitive, why are there, why are there these little quote-unquote power-ups around, around the field giving you an edge? That's not how these games work. If you look at any traditional fighting game, hell, look at Smash. There are no power-ups when, when they're playing competitively. Why, why should this game be any different and try and break any mold? Every character plays play slash looks the same. Oh, I ha you haven't played the game yet. It is a, it is a fighting game with two buttons, two to three buttons where the combos are X, X, Y, forward A, back A, jump, and stuff like that. There's not much depth to that. You cannot... That Destructoid uh, art article makes no sense where it was every character felt different. Maybe, it, maybe every character looked different, but you're still doing the same kind of inputs. Oh, jeez, what else? Uh, yeah, like, well, let's get into the to the control scheme. It's X for weak, Y for strong, B for jump, A for special, L is your assist, and R is guard. Problem with your controls are you're forced to use the D-pad in a three-dimensional game. Now, three-dimensional games usually, hell, anything uses, uh, what is it? It's, this, it's, it's a control stick, so why not this game? Why is the controller made specifically for the game, forcing you to use a D-pad? And there's three dimensions. Unless, there's really nothing to it. The gamepad is also forced if you want to use local play. And on top of that, if you, if you want to do that for, for LAN, or not LAN, but if you want to use local multiplayer, you're going to get 30 FPS unless two we use are connected by LAN connection, which would mean to play this at any local tournament, you would have to have two TVs, two Wii U's, uh, a LAN connection between the two of them, and 
you know, two sets of, of, of game pads or, or, or you know, the, these popping controllers or whatever. Why not just make it so that you can use Pro Controller, Classic Controller, uh, GameCube Controller, all that stuff. They have enough buttons for it. There's enough buttons on, on all of the Wii U accepted controllers to play this game. Why am I, why are we forced to these two? Doesn't make any sense. Problems with character select is, uh, the game has been in development for, what, three years, four years? We got the, the, the picture of the Blaziken fighting the, the Lucario on the Chinese street market, what, almost three years ago, something like that? Three, yeah, three years ago, it surfaced, it was when X and Y and stuff came out. In, in three years, your first demo gives us three characters, four characters, and then you upped it to like 10, and now we're at 16? And you've been working on this game for three years? Even though I'm not a game developer, I'm pretty sure Sakurai worked on Smash. And, 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 but between Smash and, or between 64 and Melee was a couple of years, almost the same amount of years Pokken was in development. And Melee had more than 20 characters on launch. Melee had about what? Your starting roster is what, 20 characters? 22 characters deep, maybe? Character diversity is, yeah, you know, you have all these different Pokemon, which is good, that's a good thing. But, they most likely all play the same due to the control scheme. Like, in, in any off-brand fighter, like, like Naruto or, or Dragon Ball Z, all, these char all the characters look different, but play the same. That's a problem. I should get a different feel every time I play a different character. It shouldn't just be, okay, I'm just gonna hit this combo, you know, it looks different because it's a different character. The two Pikachu versus two Mewtwo debate. When Pikachu Libre was announced as a character, everybody was upset because, oh, what? It's just another Pikachu. That's not cool. What is that? Like, there's that, and then there's, oh, well, okay, now we have Shadow Mewtwo, but when they announced Brakeson and Garchomp, they said, hey, here's regular Mewtwo now. Now, that makes no sense. Why was there a huge uproar about two Pikachus, but nobody had a huge uproar about two Mewtwo's? One is a boss character, and the other one is the regular one. Boss character Mewtwo is Mega Mewtwo X, the other one is Y. But we don't know how the regular, we don't know how the base Mewtwo's play. If they play differently, if they play the same, we have no clue. They could quite, the Mewtwo's could quite possibly play the same, and nobody will say anything. Meanwhile, the Pikachu's are, are two different characters. Why this game should not be at EVO is, it, by the time EVO rolls around, it's re, it's dropping in what, March? EVO is in July. That is, what, three months? Not even four months of life? That's not enough to foster a meta. You need at least a year to start fostering a, a meta, a tier list, what's good, what's bad. That You're not going to get this from EVO. Street Fighter 4 should be able to, to crown one more champion before it goes out. Street Fighter 5 is going to be at EVO. You're not going to see 4 anymore. People are going to drop it. You never know what's going to happen. Why not let them, why not give Street Fighter 4 one more year and bring Pac in the next year? So at least Street Fighter 4 has, you know, it's its last big tournament besides Capcom Cup and Pac gets to foster this competitive environment. It replacing Street Fighter 4 means that there was some kind of either deal cut or, or, or money put under the table or on the table. That's the only, because Pokken has no following. It's not like it's this new innovative game, because tons of games like Pokken come out. It's just it has the backing of the Pokemon company and, and Bandai Namco, which isn't fair to, you know, Street Fighter 4. Where, where Capcom just doesn't care about anything that isn't Street Fighter related, Marvel. People using the argument, oh, well, Street Fighter 4 has been around for ages, it's time to let somebody else hold the crown. Melee's been around for 15 years. Marvel's been around for just about the same time as Street Fighter 4, if not less. Why should those games be allowed at EVO and this one not allowed one last tournament before it's, uh, I guess it's a predecessor? before its predecessor takes over. 
And finally, the Pokken World Tournament Series, or whatever the hell it is, the Pokken Tournament Series, or... Yeah, yeah, Pokemon Tournament Championship Series. There, there's going to be a whole bunch of tournaments for this World Series. It's going to be at, at Pokemon Worlds. It's basically there's going to be a, the evil ones in the count as a, as a qualifier or whatever. If you're going to have that, why not use that to build the game up? Because people, it's a Pokemon game. You guys have a Pokemon company. The game is going to sell. You can build up this whole big thing and then get it to evil. Why are why are you trying to rush this? That proves that they just don't they don't believe their game can make waves without their without their care. What they should have done was use Katsuhiro Harada to remake the Tekken engine and tweak it. All you had to do was take the Tekken engine and keep it keep it simple. Keep it in the in the Tekken plane, you know, the the foreground, uh, background, and then you know you have the, the the front plane, and then it's on that engine, but it's Pokemon. That's all you had to do. Use your your three years of development to get more of a, a, a wide array of characters out there. I'm talking 20, maybe 30 characters, and use everything at your disposal your disposal to make sure that the game is good for competitive integrity. Because right now that game is not good for competitive integrity. It is competitive trash and casual gold. People are going to be mad about that, but I really don't care. Uh, thanks for watching, and you know I, I stream quite often, so those will be in the descri descriptions below. Uh, same thing with my Twitter and stuff like that.